Charlie. Hi, Mr. Fisher. Guilty conscience, eh? Suck down, Sal. Why don't you just leave me alone? Oh, Sal, come on. We're best friends, remember? Can't get much closer than this. You just get lost. I got the van again tonight. What do you think? You're unbelievable. Thanks. Yes, come in. Scott Irwin to see you. All right, send him in. Thanks, Mrs. Ross. Sit down. There. As you know, I've had to reset an entire examination paper because someone from the school entered my office in order to print out their own private copy from the computer. One student's already admitted being involved. Now, I intend to ask you a perfectly straightforward question. Were you a part of this conspiracy? And I use the word advisedly because that's what it was. A conspiracy to gain advantage, a conspiracy to deceive me, a conspiracy to cheat all the other boys and girls who have studied hard and honestly for this examination. Well? What was your question, sir? Behaviour like this isn't going to help you, Scott. Did you or did you not enter my office to print out that examination paper? Well, who says I did? I want an answer from you, and I warn you. A denial, which turns out to be a lie later on, will not be in your best interest. You said someone else admitted to it, right? Yes. You know, what's going to happen to them? That's none of your concern. Yeah, except you're going to get a lie on them because they dobbed me in. I'm still waiting for your answer, Scott. Sally Fletch took the key. Once more, were you or were you not involved? Yeah, OK, all right, but... Look, Sally, it was all her... Yeah, thank you. I haven't decided as yet whether to expel you or not. Expel? But you can consider yourself on suspension. In-school suspension. Which means time out to study for the rest of the week. A week? Come off it! Learn the value of silence, Erwin. Two weeks.